What's up guys welcome back to Tech Phantom and in this video we are going to talk about the 5 reasons why you should consider buying the Moto G60 and it's only the positives of the Moto G60 and it's the latest offering from the Motorola so without wasting any further time subscribe to our channel Tech Phantom and also hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. So the very first thing is the business grade security with the Think Shield for mobile. Now it's I think it's the first time when the Moto has introduced a security just like the Samsung had the Samsung Knox and it's more secure of a folder in your phone when you compare to the high risk of the phone your phone getting hacked and getting catching viruses into your phone. So this is a positive when the Motorola is directing itself and separating it from the competition. So the Think Shield for mobile is just like a Samsung Knox or, a, or it will be a different than the Knox when compared to the Samsung Galaxy Knox. So also a lot more about that is yet to be known when the phone is officially launched and I got on hands on. The next one is the cameras. The Motorola comes with a triple camera setup with a main camera of 108 megapixel at 18,000. It's best for the value for money when compared to the other smartphone which generally provides you the 48 megapixel camera or the 64 megapixel camera. Now instead of a triple camera other than two cameras which we have is the 8 megapixel of ultra wide lens and the 2 megapixel of depth, depth sensor which is just there for some reason. So if we're moving on to the next one is the battery and the Moto G60 comes with a 6000 mAh battery which is the massive in the size when, when compared to this price bracket also it's only come to the Samsung M series close to the Samsung M series and it also comes with a 20 watt of super fast charging by Motorola. Now let's talk about it's the next better part which why you should consider buying the Moto it's the IPS LCD display and it's the LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate uh, it's LCD at 120Hz at a price of 18,000 but still it gives you the best quality picture quality and it, the colors are punchier when compared to the other LCD panels in the market. The display also supports an HDR10 content which is a huge positive for the cam phone itself. Now next we talk about is the Snapdragon 732G and at the 732G it makes a bit pricier phone when compared to the other but still the phone has a very capable software and it's a good price for the money. Now next if we talk about is the charger extras and which are the chargers is included in the box and the phone also retains the 3.5 headphone jack and it also has a type C charging which is again going for the positive side of the Motorola. And let me know your thoughts about what other things do you consider buying the Moto G60 is it value for your money or not. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you in the very next one. Thanks for watching.